the last bit of technology that I use for my classroom is definitely more specific for my PE classroom, but you know, I'm sure you could find ways of implementing it into more classrooms uh, as far as just for competition purposes. And it's the tournament bracket generator. And I like it just because it, I do a lot of brackets in my PE class, you know, when we, when we play, especially some of the individual games, you know, tennis, badminton, um, you know, even one-on-one -on -one or three-on-three -on -three basketball, things like that, you know, where you're just, again, that competition aspect, okay, you want to win, you want to win your bracket. Um, so it's, it's been very neat uh, for me. And so you can kind of choose, obviously you can name it, you can kind of choose what kind of tournament you want. So if you want a single elimination tournament, which I don't like because then it's going to, you know, the people that don't want to play, they're going to try and lose so they get out right away. Uh, double elimination, kind of the same thing. You know, it's a little better than single, but, um, you know, still, it's kind of promoting losing and getting out as quickly as possible for the people that don't really enjoy the physical education component of it or the physical fitness component of it. And so I usually like to use a round robin. Just, uh, and you can create multiple brackets. That way, if you have a large class, everyone gets in there. But I like the round robin just so they know that they have a set amount of games, whether they win or lose. And so every now and then I'll do the single and double elimination, but not very often. Uh, so you can kind of see I put just some random names in there. Uh, Johnny, Ricky, Bobby, Joey, Mike, and Debbie. And I just had it randomized just for the sake of randomizing it. So if you can generate it here. And it, it gives you who's playing who. And so you got Mike as the one seed playing the six, Ricky. You know, Joey facing Debbie and Bobby facing Johnny. So you really simple as far as that. And it created a bracket right for me. And then we would just go out and, and play it. We'd keep track of records and things like that. Um, and this is good for my PE class in particular. But, you know, I could see it being used where maybe you're doing a review game and you're keeping track of, um, you know, say you did like Kahoot or even a better example would be Quizlet Live. Okay, how many times did Team Panda win? You know, they're going up against Team whatever. So uh, it's good for any classroom, I would say. But particularly for me, it's a little more specialized for my PE class where I want to add in just a little bit of a competition component and you know, it really helps the people that like the physical uh, fitness component of it and like getting after it in class. It kind of adds that little competition, which is what you need from time to time. So again, that's the tournament racket generator. I use it, uh, obviously, for my students, and it has been very, very good, and I would recommend for my PE class. Um, it's not really an app, but, you know, it is web-based, so all you have to do is go to that challenge.com, spelled C-H- a l l o n g dot com. Uh, so anywhere that you have internet, so it can be on your desktop, it can be on your iPad, it can be on your phone. You can do it from pretty much anywhere. The only downfall is it's not really an app, which is fine. Um, I don't really need it to be an app. Um, so it's been very good for the class. So again, I'd recommend it. Tournament bracket generator.